Today's video is probably gonna get me a lot of flack, probably gonna get some hate for this, but this needs to be called out and Tesla is getting away with something that they should not be getting away with. I do wanna preface this video by saying I own three Teslas. So for those of you who are about to accuse me of being a Tesla short, I'm not a big investor either way, and I'm a huge fan, a huge supporter of Tesla. Some time ago, Tesla removed ultrasonic sensors from all of cars, and this was a huge cost savings, but it removed the capability of the car in many regards. Having lost ultrasonic sensors means the car is relying on vision to determine where objects are, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, if it's developed. Unfortunately, like many times with Tesla, they've rolled out this change without having that software developed. As a matter of fact, the car I'm sitting in right now, this $100,000 Model X that I bought on March 31st of this year, just recently got vision assisted park assist turned on. That means the car is finally starting to try to figure out how far it is away from everything and it's terrible, it's not good. And many people have shared videos of their cars using vision only for park assist and it's equally bad. I'm not knocking on it for being bad, I'm knocking on it for having been rolled out without being ready. And that's a problem. The same thing is an issue with a $15,000 upgrade from Tesla, also known as full self-driving. This is not going to be talking about full self-driving, not being ready for prime time. That's not what this video is about. This video is about Tesla not having the software ready for any cars that it is selling right now, but charging you $15,000 today if you want it. Let's go through these details because I think this is a topic not being discussed enough and not a lot of people understand what the limitations are on every car that Tesla's selling today. So at high level, there's three types of autopilot to think about. There's basic autopilot, there's enhanced autopilot, and then there's full self-driving. And on top of full self-driving, there's full self-driving beta. So those different levels of autonomous features in the vehicle all are progressively more and more. Every car at Tesla ships with basic autopilot. Basic autopilot basically means the car will drive with traffic around it in its own lane. It will not switch lanes for you. It won't stop at a stoplight, things like that. For $6,000, you can upgrade that to enhanced autopilot. And what this gives you is navigate on autopilot, meaning the car on the highway will switch lanes and it will merge from one highway to the other highway on its way to your destination. Auto lane change means that the car can be activated to automatically switch those lanes for you. That is available as well. Auto park. Auto park is when the car can park itself based on the sensors around it. And then finally, there's summon and smart summon. Summon and smart summon are not available for any car that Tesla sells today. That's the limitation on EAP. You get everything else except for summon and smart summon. Now, auto park is not the greatest. So it's limited on auto park and really you get navigate on autopilot and you get auto lane change. That's all you get with EAP right now. So that's $6,000. Now if you step up to full self-driving for $15,000, here's what that adds. It allows the car to interact with stoplights and stop signs. It also adds the ability to auto steer on city streets. So technically basic autopilot and enhanced autopilot don't do anything on city streets, but you can still turn them on in city. You can change lanes if there's multiple lanes. So the next level of that is full self-driving beta. That is where the car is actively driving. It is looking at pedestrians. It is switching lanes. It is turning. It is doing all the crazy stuff all on its own. That is full self-driving beta. That's that extra level of full self-driving. So not just navigating around, it's actually going to look at everybody around you and try to find a way to get to your destination all on its own. It's actually pretty incredible what it can do. Yes, it does have some limitations today, but for the cars that Tesla is selling right now, not only can they not activate full self-driving beta, but Elon Musk actually just responded to this very big gap just today. So what Elon said today is that they are working tirelessly to get full self-driving very good for hardware three vehicles. He expects hardware four vehicles to be at least six months behind. This is pretty bad because this car I have right now has already been six months without the ability to have full self-driving beta. That means for at least a year since hardware four started rolling out, there will be no full self-driving beta. And the Model Y, which got hardware four three months after the Model S and X, that will be nine months at the minimum 
before it would have the ability to access full self-driving beta. So full self-driving beta, $15,000 or $199 a month. Or if you already have EAP, it would be $99 a month. Right now, Tesla's also incentivizing selling vehicles. If you refer somebody right now, they're going to get $1,000 off a Model S and X, $500 off a Model Y and 3, and they're going to get three months of full self-driving. That three months of full self-driving starts the day they take delivery, not when full self-driving is actually able to be turned on on their vehicle. You can also unlock three months of full self-driving with referral credits. So for 10,000 referral credits, you can get three months of full self-driving. That's what I just did in this vehicle because I wanted to show you what it is not able to do with this unlock. Here's the problem I have with all of this. Not only is it not being talked about enough, but Tesla's not doing a good job of educating consumers when they take delivery of a brand new Tesla that, hey, well, self-driving is not going to have all the features. As a matter of fact, it's extremely limited and explicitly here are the things that it does not do. They don't actively push how limited it is. And I think that new consumers who don't know everything about Tesla's probably don't understand how big of a limitation there is on full self-driving right now. And just to make this even clearer, Here's what I'm talking about. When you get down here to Enhanced Autopilot, it just says it has all these features. When you get down to Full Self Driving, it at least says Auto Steer on City Streets is coming soon, but it still lists all these other features. So everything that Enhanced Autopilot does, traffic light and stop sign control, there's nothing else out here that explicitly says, hey, there's limitations to this feature. As a matter of fact, you will not see anything until you go to take delivery of your vehicle before you can accept delivery you get a notification that you have to accept the car for vision only that of course is after you have placed your 250 dollars non-refundable deposit so that's kind of a problem and i think that it's disingenuous because when you take a referral and you incentivize it by saying i'll give you three months of full self-driving but you can't use full self-driving is that really an incentive or are you misleading people? Now, before everybody comes with the pitchforks and calls me a Tesla short and burns me at the stake, understand this, I own three Teslas. I am a huge Tesla supporter, obviously, but it's okay to call them out when things like this need to be called out. And more people need to stand up and speak out about this because this isn't just Tesla rolling out new equipment that has no software ready for it. This is Tesla actively accepting $15,000 from unexpecting consumers that don't understand what they're limited on. How I have seen countless people on forums, countless people on Twitter, countless people on, you name the social media site, talk about, wait, where's my full self-driving? How do I turn it on? Oh, well, it turns out you just got a new car. You can't turn it on. So somewhere there is communication gap and this needs to be addressed. More people need to speak up about this. But for everybody else, if you're here watching, hopefully this has been helpful. And if you didn't know this, hopefully now you do know and you can make a more educated decision on what you should do. I'm not telling you you should or should not buy full self-driving for $15,000. I'm just trying to help you understand what you don't get right now for that $15,000. So you can make more educated decision on should I spend that $15,000. So hopefully this was helpful, whether it was for you, whether it was for family, whether it was for a friend, I do hope that you got some value out of this. And if you want to see something a little bit more fun with software upgrades, I highly recommend you check out this video on my unlocked acceleration boost on a Model 3. Cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.